All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 700, 700 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football, but um, I'm not going to talk Georgia Southern today. I wanted to. I really wanted to talk about us going up against Marshall, but look, I had 24 hours to think about this, and you already see the title, and um, I, I really feel this way. I've checked out on Coach Arthur Smith. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I saw the press conferences that was done earlier. Uh, uh, was it the day before or today? I can't remember. I know I just remember seeing it and I saw some quotes for him. And um, I just, I'm I'm to the point now that I, 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 I it's just nothing that I really want to see from him anymore. He had two and a half years, the first year, the second year. Yeah. You can't really blame him for the, for the most part. He was trying to get under salary cap hell, but Nah, I, I I don't see anything that's going to be any better than what we see. If it is, it'll be an absolute miracle. And I have no problem with being wrong about this because if I'm wrong about this, that means the Falcons succeed. But I just don't see it. What I'm going to do in this episode, I'm going to show you what I think should happen and my personal pick on who should be the coach of this team. So we're going to have some fun today. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you to all the subscribers that are on YouTube. I really appreciate it. The guys who are uh, continuously helping the podcast grow on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts, especially Apple Podcasts. You guys are great. I really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, I really appreciate the support. Uh, I can be found on uh, Twitter or X at VF Baller, and the website is firstandframerates.com. On the website, you can find your way to subscribe to the podcast or subscribe to YouTube or Rumble. Also over there, there's a link that you can uh, support the show monetarily if you d- choose and desire. And if you don't want to go all the way to that route, down in the description, the cash app and the PayPal links are below. So I really appreciate if you guys uh, would support. But just by being here and listening, you know, you know, that's better than nothing. And I really, really appreciate it. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to have a lot of fun today because I am going to give you my uh, final thoughts about Coach Arthur Smith. I don't. I don't think this coach is um the guy to lead this team to a Super Bowl. I just. I just don't believe it. I look at the play calling. I went back and listened to a couple of speeches that he did on the on the podium for press conferences, and I also look back at what has happened the last two seasons, and the same results are coming up. Now, I think they've done a phenomenal job of putting players together on this feet on the team. I think the team is ready made. I think this team can go very, very far with the talent and the setup of this team, even with the quarterback situation. I think this is a a, a brilliantly put together team by Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith. I, I will give him some credit. They've done a really good job of bringing talent here, but the execution on the field, whether it be the coach or co- or offensive coordinator, whatever the case may be, they, they just, they can't do this no more. They can't. They can't. I I I I really want to see this team go on a run. I really want to see this team beat the Cardinals. I want to see them beat the Jets. I want to see them beat the Saints. I want to see them beat you know the rest of these teams and possibly go twelve and five. They have the talent on the field to do so. But when you're not using B. John Robinson the way that you should, and the times that you use B. John Robinson, like it's not all his fault. B. John Robinson decides to fumble. You know it 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 it. it it is a head scratcher. You don't run the ball when you're supposed to. You at the goal line. You're doing things pretty wonky. The play calling looks crazy. It, it it all falls on the head coach. And I I, I think I, I've done. I'm done. I'm done with him. I don't think that he's going to be the guy. I think he's done a great job, but I don't see where this team turns it around to do uh great things under his uh coaching. Now, if I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to be happy about it. Because that means, like I said, this team succeeded and it, it is went beyond my expectations at this point. I thought the team could go 10 and 7. Now, at this point, that means we're going to have to go, what, uh, what, 5 and no, 6 and 2 on the, uh, for the rest of the game, the rest of the season? 6 and 2? Do, do y'all really see that? Honestly, with the way this team is going, do y'all really see 6 and 2? I mean, I, I mean, I just got to be honest. I don't, I don't, you know, you know I, I really wanted to give you know Desmond Ritter a lot of hate for the way he's played but I know that's not fair even though that he's he's been on the team for a year and he played a little bit 
it's really not fair. I just don't think that he's going to be that top tier elite guy. But this guy, Coach Arthur Smith, is probably the reason why. It's not because of his abilities. It's what he's being taught. It's what he's being, you know, uh, being set up, set up to do when he goes out on the field. So, I mean, it's, not, it's, it's never been a knock on him thinking that he's a bad quarterback. It is a possibility that he's just going to be above average, you know, all in all. But Coach Arthur Smith ain't helping him to be any better than that. I've checked out on this guy. I'm done. Now I'm gonna give you a, 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 a I'm gonna give you two options that I think what should happen. First and foremost, if you're watching the screen on YouTube, that is, that's awesome. I really appreciate it. But uh, let me see. You see this guy on the screen right here? That is our defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen. That is the first option I would want to give him a head coaching job. Does he have that much experience? Not much. I don't think he has any head coaching experience, but he does a damn good job of running his defense. He's turned this defense to a top five defense. If you get a guy like this and get an offensive minded coach in, you, we're going to be good money. Uh, uh, co- uh, offensive minded, well, I think it's offensive minded, a good offensive coordinator, we're, we're going to be good money because the defense does its job. The defense gives us turnovers, give us opportunities, it gives us a good field position, and the play calling on the offense does not give us the chance to execute. Y'all got to understand the last, what, two or three games, we had 10 field goals. In five touchdowns, that should be the up. That that should be the other way around. We should have ten touchdowns and five field goals minimum. The defense is doing this job, and kudos to Ryan Nielsen. That's my first pick. I would love to see him get a job. I don't know if he'll be able to actually, you know, pull it off. If he was, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I, I'm uh, give me a second. I I want to I want to look this up really quick because I I don't know. His entire background, he's 44 years old. He's been a volunteer assistant at USC, defensive line coach pretty much from Ole Miss, Central Connecticut, UT Martin, Northern Illinois, NC State, New Orleans Saints. He's been a defensive line coach and a co-defensive coordinator for most of his career. He's now the defensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons, and I don't, I'm not really sure. I mean, it's, he's been around for almost 20 years in, in, in football as far as as a coach. I'm not sure because he hasn't taken that big of a step to be a head coach, in all fairness. But the way that he's run this defense, I, I, I would not be too I, I would I would not be too nervous about giving him a shot because you see what he did with the New Orleans Saints, you know, defensive line. He was assistant head coach for the New Orleans Saints. You, you know, he's done some pretty good things at NC State as a defensive line coach. So he's done some things that was actually pretty good in his positions. Now, do I think that this should be the case? I don't know. But I, I, I like I said, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really, uh, I don't feel bad if this was the case. Now, before I get out of here, if you really want to know what I personally want, I think I said this on Smitty's Sports Machine. I, I probably said I did not say it, but I want you guys to be ready for this. This is the person I think if you get this guy in as a head coach, you, you, you're, you're going to win a lot of games. And with this talent on this team, you'll probably be in a running for a Super Bowl or be in a Super Bowl. Y'all ready for this? If you're watching this on the screen, this is going to be my pick for the next head coach for this team. My personal pick. Michigan head coach, Jim Harbaugh. They need to go out and make the, they need to make the call. I, I, I think immediately if, they, if, if they're able to. They, this is the guy that needs to be the coach for the Atlanta Falcons next year. I will say this. This guy is a proven winner. He went to Michigan when Michigan was nothing, made it happen. Wasn't he the, wasn't he the coach? of uh stanford i want to say he was coaching stanford when he had andrew luck let me go look i'm gonna look because i can't remember i can't remember okay i'm looking it up right now let's see come on let's go let's go head coach head coach i don't say oh goodness yeah he was at stanford from 2007 to 2010 stanford was nobody's 
It was, it was no, there were nobodies. And he turned them around. Now, I didn't know he was at the San Diego Chargers from 04 to 06. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Was he the head coach? I don't know, who knows? It doesn't matter. When he went to the San Francisco 49ers, the Colin Kaepernick-led 49ers went to the Super Bowl. And even he still played good when he had Alex Smith. He played well with Alex Smith. Went to Michigan and turned that program around when they were dead in the water. Ohio State couldn't, they couldn't touch Ohio State. He led the he, what? He led the 49ers in to the NFC Championship game in his first each of his first three seasons after the franchise missed the playoffs eight consecutive seasons beforehand. So they went to the NFC Championship game three times in the first three seasons. He has trouble at Michigan. Why don't he just go ahead and pull uh what's his name the guy in Seattle, Pete Carroll? Pull up Pete Carroll because Michigan is about to about to have some problems. Go ahead and pull up Pete Carroll. Come on back to the NFL, and this team is ready made. It's ready to go. If, if you really want to be, uh, you know, if you really want to be Canvas or savvy, you may be a, a quarterback away. Let him pick the quarterback that he wants, and he I've never seen him have a problem picking the quarterback that he wants. Every quarterback that he picked actually done pretty good or he had quarterbacks together that was actually able to do something. Kaepernick was good under him. Alex Smith was good up under him. Andrew Luck, I mean, Andrew Luck was a a generational talent. You know know how that goes. And and the quarterbacks he had at Michigan. I don't even know these kids, but they actually played pretty good. They was in a national championship game. Well, they was in a runner for a national championship title and probably in a runner for another one. Yeah, you want to talk about stealing signs. Well, whatever. I, I I don't even care about that. Go get this guy. Go get him. This is the guy that we need right now. Well, at least next season. I, I, I'm, I checked out on Arthur Smith. I'm cool if we put Ryan Nielsen in that spot. But I think this guy right here, you put him in this position, you already ha- you're, you're already ready made to win a Super Bowl. And I, I'm dead serious. Enough. Who are, the NFC South is, 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 is trash. The NFC South is trash. The rest of the NFL, well, the NFC, you got the Eagles, you got the Dallas Cowboys, you may have the 49ers, the Seahawks look okay. You, you're going to be right up there in the top four or five teams. You're already there talent-wise. You're just not there coaching-wise. Who did he bring in as a staff? I know some people may be asking. I don't know who the staff is going to be, but I trust whoever he brings. And I know a lot of people may not may not agree with this and probably say bring Dion here. Dion don't even want to be an NFL head coach. And if he does, I don't think I don't. I, it'll be a, a a learning process on the fly on how to be an NFL head coach. Because in some cases. He's going through some growing pains as a power five head coach. And I'm not saying that it, 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 he can't do it, but this guy's ready made. He's ready to go. He is ready made. He's already done it. He's already been to the Super Bowl. He's already, you know, got teams to the NFC Championship games consecutive times. Oh, he wasn't with the San Diego Chargers. It was San Diego Toros. It's the intercollegiate American football team for the University of San Diego. Oh, it's the FCS team. Oh, I thought it was San Diego Chargers that uh, he was in. Okay, my bad. He was a quarterback coach. At, okay, so he's the quarterback coach of the Oakland Raiders from 2002-2003. Isn't this was the year that they went to the Super Bowl? Or was it the year after? Could be the year after. Coach of the year in 2011. AP Coach of the Year in 2021. Big Ten Coach of the Year 2022. Come on, man. If you if you if you guys can find somebody better, let me know. And I, I'm all ears, but I mean, this is my this is my personal this is my personal opinion. I think this is the guy. He I, even with that team for San Francisco, they were they were loaded. And I'm not saying that our team is better than the 49ers from back then, but they're damn near close. They're damn near close. And you turn around, let's say if we get in the running for get a quarterback, we get Michael Penix, we get Caleb Williams, we get Drake May, we get any of these top quarterbacks coming out, 
with a coach like this and the team we have now, we may go have to pull some strings to move people here and there because it's going to be another season. Everybody that's here now may not be there, but they'll be good enough to be doing better, doing much better than what this guy right here is doing. And if you're looking at the screen, I'm looking at Arthur Smith. Let me know what you guys think. I, 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 I'm entitled to my opinion, but I'm entitled to be, you know, scrutinized for it. But this, that, that Coach Harbaugh is my pick. I, I think I'm, I'm done with Arthur Smith. I, I, I just don't see anything turning around. Ryan Nielsen is the obvious closest choice that would get it done. I, I will, could turn this around with the defense that he's led. But I think you get Harbaugh in here, it, 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 it's, it's, it's an instant upgrade. It is it's a, Even with all the scrutiny, you can call what you want. Let them leave the, the college ranks. Let them run off like, like Pete Carroll done and come on up here to come up to the NFL and coach this extremely talented team. If you like this commentary, the like button, share the podcast. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Am I tripping? That's all I want to know. Am I tripping? I can be found on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, also YouTube and Rumble. I, uh, stuff that I don't talk about on the show usually is on X or Twitter at VF Baller. The website is firstandframerates.com. If you want to support the show, uh, Cash App and uh, the PayPal links are below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for making it this far and listening once again. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Please let me know in the comment section what y'all guys think. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy and y'all be blessed. Peace.